Get we were trying to get divorced yeah. over the... <laughs> All right, let's start. <laughs> Five, six, seven, go. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Sing, Ronnie. Take it. She I was looking, looking kind of dumb, dumb with her finger and her thumb and the shape of a nail on her forehead. Yo. Well. They <laughs> <laughs> start I coming and they don't stop coming. Welcome to Welcome Respectfully, to Respectfully podcast. podcast. The singer-songwriter podcast for all you fucking idiots out there. I'm Andrea <laughs> Allen. Hey, bozos and worms. <laughs> Oh, wow. hey. You're listening to WKBF with Poop Head and <laughs> Kitty Cat Slut Whore. <laughs> it's always like the gash and the rash. <laughs> Don't bring up my rash on air. Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to. Who's our guest today, Lizzie? Our guest today is comedian and friend in real life, Joe Nunnan. She's here. Girl boss extraordinaire. What would my name be on KWX9? Uh, in the like um, Big like, Bob Suggins <laughs> and the Poop Stick. Dang. He'd be the poop stink. Yeah, yeah. Child of I'd child big, of I'd alcoholism. I'm the poop stink. Can you smell that? <laughs> That's a good drop. You smelling what I'm stepping in? <laughs> you picking up what I'm laying down? With like fun sound effects on this podcast. Yeah, we do. Let's see here. <laughs> Love that. Love that. We have some sounds. Yeah, I don't know what these pictures mean. What about this? That's, That's good. right there. Welcome to WKBF with the rash, <laughs> the gash, and poops thing. <laughs> That's a drop. It's a rainy Tuesday afternoon in New York City. Traffic is bad. There was rain. Traffic is bad. We're not going to get into the details. I like the show that doesn't get into the details. Yeah. <laughs> it's New York. Traffic is bad. Someone died. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, the drop. blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never see your father again. <laughs> um, <laughs> speaking wow. of fucking disasters, That's I did a road <laughs> gig. I did a terrible road gig this weekend. Andrea Ooh. caught a hot stinker. Oh Let's my go. god, Hack and Sack, New Jersey. Shout out to him. My <laughs> god, what a yeah, terrible. You bring the hack, the they'll, give, they'll give you the sack. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> I was playing Hack and Sack and getting my dick cut clean off. Yeah. And there was another comedian on the lineup, and he's one of these like diehard polyamorous dudes, which mm. is he's like entering his forties and <laughs> still for the cause. <laughs> and he said something to me. He goes, "We're talking. We're like catching up." And he goes, "How was your pandemic?" And I was like terrible yeah it was the worst time I went, how was your pandemic what the fuck kind of question right right it's a question only asked by boring people with boring lives yeah. who don't care about other people right right like if you did puzzles your whole pandemic and you hit me with a how was your pandemic i went insane and ended up in rehab <laughs> yes. we're not the same <laughs> I my dad died and i impulse moved to a new city <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of a sleigh yeah joe I is secretly one of us yeah, yeah. you are yeah, you're yeah. an erratic girly i'm over an there. erratic little bit yeah, yeah. Um, I went nuts and got diagnosed with bipolar and tried to have a threesome with a man who said he murdered someone. So my yeah. t- pandemic was really bad. But why do people ask, how was your pandemic? No one asks, how was your great recession? <laughs> right, yeah. right. Like, yeah. <laughs> what? I don't Nobody's know. like, how was your dad dying? <laughs> like, just a thing that's supposed to be universally horrible. How, like a hundred years ago, how was your Hindenburg? Yeah. How, was, how was that for you? <laughs> Did you do how, a sourdough starter? Yeah. <laughs> how was your civil war? Did you guys have fun? Did you lose your husband? <laughs> yeah. Did your boys get pitted against each other and take each other's lives in the field of battle? Was it brother against brother? <laughs> truly, truly it was. Truly brother against brother? <laughs> <laughs> asked me how my pandemic was and I'm like terrible dog shit and he goes mine was great I got to just make love to my partner and I was like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my partner which part of that sentence is worse make love or partner? and this is what it's we wanted very, to get into thank uh, you Joe people who say make love <laughs> Whoa. Shove it up your ass, dude. Yeah. I hate... The only thing I hate more is people who make love. Yes, yes. Like, there are people who say make love, and then there are people who do take you home from a bar and make love to you. <laughs> and the whole thing is absolute poop on ice. It's and poop al- on ice. And also, <laughs> partner, this guy, it's like, you have a wife. You have a wife. You made You're love to your gay, wife. and Even though you're being pretty gay. <laughs> Sorry. 
Yeah. Sorry, I don't sorry, like, Ronnie's a lesbian. Yeah, sorry, Ronnie. Welcome to the show. Why is Ronnie it's still okay. Part of this podcast? Yeah, it's I don't justified. Know. It's justified. She's, she's yeah. cool. Yeah, we're calling straight people gay over here. We'll never betray yeah. the and LGBT. I mean, gay isn't bad. Yes. Like from the early 2000s. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> once told me <laughs> the um, world was gonna <laughs> roll me. I need the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> but also, he's the. I love my wife. My wife is a goddess. I worship my I wife. I love my car. Curvy wife. Yes. Ugh. You're just calling your <laughs> wife fat. We don't need the adjectives on the wife. Yeah. yeah. It's also like, <laughs> I love my stinky wife. <laughs> yeah. I love my dim witted wife. <laughs> <laughs> I love my real card of a wife. Yeah, she's a pill. Yeah, yeah. well, he, he's like trying to show his homework to me of like, look at me just. I'm a feminist because I love my wife. This goddess, angel, beauty that I make love to. And yeah. I'm like, I'm trying to eat, dude. And yeah. here's the thing. Andrea and I love a type of I love my wife guy. Yeah. There's a type of I love my wife guy that just fucking loves his wife. Yeah. And like you'll be talking to him and he'll be like, God, she's the best. Anyway, how are you? Well, right. if, and if that guy real, rules. If you're a real I love my wife guy, you don't walk around telling people about, about how, how you she fuck her. Wife yeah. And how you fuck, make love to her and shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it's something you notice. You go, man, that guy really loves his wife. That's yeah. so right. Sweet. Right. They don't go yeah. like, oh, I worship her. And it's yeah. like, what is. No, yeah. I don't want Yeah, wanna... for what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for what? You already said she's fat. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like the ick. I. I fully recoiled into yeah. my own body, just being like, oh, God. I made love to my part. Also, like, you are talking about a time when you say, How was your pandemic? You have to know that you could be asking someone about the time that their parent died. Right, right. Or the time that, like, it was two years. Yeah. A lot of bad things happen to a lot of people. And to bring it up, to talk about how much wife pussy you got <laughs> is so egregious. Yeah, <laughs> to bring up the darkest time period in millions of people's lives. I know. I got crazy go, wife pussy. To go, my wife's never been wetter. Yeah, and yeah. then, you know how you lived in a neighborhood where you could smell the body trucks yeah. outside? I fucked my wife the whole time. <laughs> I had my hands around a loaf of banana bread I learned how to make and my cock deep inside my wife. Oh my I was, I was I starting was, sourdough. Yeah. I was balls deep in balls deep in wife and puzzles the whole time. Okay. Yeah, cool, great. dude. Yeah, I put a bun in my wife's oven because I love her and her yeah. reproductive system. Yeah, oh. I was so touch starved, I platonically <laughs> slept with my ex. But making love whatever. also sounds like it takes the entire week. It's like there's petals on the ground, yeah, fucking yeah. candles. There's like a guy with like a guitar in the background. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he's wearing a mask. Who's got the time for it? It's like a lot of pressure. I know, know? just have sex. That right. I love and my like, wife. Yeah, the I love my wife guy also always is like she squirts. Like it's always like some detail that's like he's always like don't Ugh. worry. I make her come. Yes, a lot. Yeah. yes. And it's like, okay, she man. squirts and I gulp up her. What yeah. might be pissed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I love it, which is beautiful. Uh, and I'm a feminist. Oh, oh he's like, like, oh, what's my favorite drink? Um, <laughs> my wife's my piss. wife's squirt, <laughs> squirt, which might be pissed. <laughs> my pandemic drink of choice. <laughs> yeah, I became a little bit of a mixologist in the pandemic. <laughs> How was your pandemic? I was guzzling my wife's piss out. <laughs> This is so filthy. Yeah. And then I had to be like, uh huh. And now I'm going to do a set in front of a group of people who hate my guts. What was the show? Yeah, they all, and they are right. Yeah. It was like a fucking coffee shop show. Yeah. It was bad. The pay was enough to get my ass to hack and sack, but I was regretting it. But you know, one of those where it's just enough. Yeah. Yeah. Where you go, if this was one cent less, (laughs) I'd be in my apartment. Yeah. Get your ass to hack and sack sounds like what the booker tells you. Yeah. (laughs) Now get your ass to hack and sack. (laughs) And you go, go, aye, aye, Captain. (laughs) I'm a professional comedian. Here's a hundred lousy dollars. (laughs) You you idiot failure clown. (laughs) It's funny because people, when you tell people you're a professional comedian, which is not the phrasing I use. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's an embarrassing (laughs) thing. Yeah. Yeah. That is like make love. Yeah, yeah. But when you tell people that, sometimes, and God bless these people, sometimes they think it's very glamorous. Yes. Right. Like sometimes they think it's like you get the green room with the red carpet and everybody's waiting on you hand and foot. And what they don't realize is you are on a bus to hack and sack. Yes. You're on a bus to hack and sack. And you're talking to a guy about squirt. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you don't want to be it. You don't want to be You have to there. talk to the owner, Bob Huggins, who tells, <laughs> <laughs> tells you about and his he, pizza joint comedy club. Yeah. And he touches your hip every time he talks to you. Oh, he keeps God. mentioning that they got Dusty Slay there once. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. this is a real club. Yeah. 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 This, is, this is a real place. Allie Wong was here in 2008. 
Okay. That she was also being tr- drawn to hack and sack for $150. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's like a mural of Ali Wong. There. Yes. Yeah. Also, the owner said or this worse, thing. Or worse, there's a mural of Joe Nunnick. Right. <laughs> right. And you're like, Dude, okay. can you imagine if you had a club and there was a mural of you there? I'd be like, this, no one can do this. <laughs> this Nothing. Yeah. So bad. This is yeah, pissed. I mean, we'll talk about this off air, the murals <laughs> I've seen. I've seen some murals. <laughs> there's also like the owner went like, are you comfortable, Miss Andrea? And I'm like, I'm oh, yeah, that gonna kind of eat guy. a gun. But you're in a folding chair yes. with a bottle of water he gave you, and he's like, literally anything you need. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'm like, I need to be out of here. There's like asbestos falling out of the ceiling. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then the the uh, ball and my wife guy was like, let me test the cameras <laughs> and get your beautiful face. And I'm like, get fucked. Yeah, this guy always thinks he can call you like radiant. Yes. Do you know the guy? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'll and I'll tell you what, he sure does have a goatee. Yeah. <laughs> sure does. He sure that does. Stinks. Yeah. 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 I put polish. Did you drive up with this? And guy? it smells no, like no, pussy. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. We polish his it every morning. fucking <laughs> bald head and then he dips puts it, it inside his wife's pussy <laughs> to show her that he's part of the like, birthing process. It's like, I love that you <laughs> fuck your wife. <laughs> yes. I, don't. I love that yeah. you fuck your wife. I don't need to know about how you fuck your wife. It's one thing when somebody has like <clears throat> Like a cool sex story, like a single person, yeah, is like having a cool sex story. But once you're married, it's like I fucking know this lady. Yeah. To be honest, I would be just as fine if I if he didn't fuck his wife. Either way, no skin <laughs> off my back. Right. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't care. I yeah. Don't well, I'm a feminist, and I yeah. hope his wife gets hers. Yeah. yeah. Because the thing is, if you have to be married to one of these guys, God, I hope he can make you come. I know, right? Because what else is he doing besides running jokes by you? And that's a nightmare. He also was like, and I actually don't have any money and I was like great yeah. love that love no, that for all this of lady these guys, because we're comedians all these guys are guys whose wives have a real job yes, <laughs> yes. that's like, true and she also is a mother if they're past and the he's age like, don't of worry like... don't worry I fuck her yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they're past the age of like 40 they're either in a very reputable comedy club like still trying to make it work yeah. or yeah. they're like doing bullshit shows and their wife has an awesome job. Yes. yes. And it's like there are a hobby. And then I like one time one of these guys was at an open mic shitting on his wife and it made me so mad I had to leave the room because I was like you're so lucky she's still with you. Yes. Yeah. You are at an open mic and you're like 50. Crazy. And you're complaining that she made you go to a dinner party. You're never going to make it. Never. <laughs> doomed. Yeah, this was also. You're doomed. The least Joe, you can do is Joe actually invented Doomed. <laughs> doomed is the Joe best. And doomed I were, is Joe and I yeah. were talking about someone we love <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who just will never make it. We're just, no matter what happens, they're doomed. And, the, and yes. this, goes, this goes outside of comedy. There yeah. are people that you know, and you're thinking of them right now, and you go, boy, is he doomed. Yes. Just no matter doomed. the immediate ups and downs are irrelevant, the grand picture <laughs> is that they're doomed. They're it's doomed. That they are doomed. <laughs> they're, they're, it's never going to. And you know, like 10 seconds into meeting them, you go, whoa. This guy's doomed. Yes. This guy's doomed. And when you're, Capital D. And when you're in a room full of doomed, you go, God, I'm doomed. You, I, I'm doomed. I am yeah. doomed by proxy <laughs> right now. That's not Fuck. Yeah, those yeah. close to doomed. What's the womp womp one? Well, we'll figure it out as yeah. we go. And this is this kind of is a it's a different thing, but when there's a doomed person talking to you, they're always going like, "I'm doing the artist's way," <laughs> or like they have yeah. some yeah. workbook they're that always, they're doing. They're always yeah. gaming the. They're always oh, like gaming the art. It's yes. never about the career aspect of what we're doing. <laughs> no. it's, it's about the uh, no. ar- art for li- artist for life. And yes, they, and they say it to you. Like they're doing more than you. Yes. Right. They go, well, you know, I write every day. And you're like, but yeah, the, well, anyone can write horse shit every yeah. day. They're also the same people who are like, ah, uh, yeah, but that joke won't work in this club. And I'm like, but you're thinking, now you're thinking like in a career way. Right, right, So you're right, not an artist. Right. So you're just yeah. like. Also, they're telling you that your joke won't work in this club. And you're like, you haven't considered this. I'm good at this. <laughs> right, right. You're like, I'm in the club. And you're I'm not. in the club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're sitting here drinking a beer that you paid for and telling me what to do here. Yes. The doomed oh person also was the like. The doomed person always has a camera on a tripod that they're going to set up. Oh, set. yes. And it's like 50,000 K and they paid $20,000 for it. Or the doomed it. person is planning on buying the camera next year. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And his and wife is. As soon as I get it. that camera, 
boy, it's over for you. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how they say. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was talking to somebody who's very talented and who I love, but is doomed. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to buy a camera next year. Is and this I go, the person <laughs> I'm thinking? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I go, that's insane. You're doomed. Yeah, you're doomed. You're, doomed. you're absolutely full blown doomed. <laughs> There's full also, blown doomed. Do you ever see doomed people? I see doomed people who are trying to be like models. Have you ever seen mm. a doomed that's model? Funny. That's way funny. Oh my God, it's so funny. I would love to know. They about that. stand, they give you a business card that has like their name and like model like spiritual advisor yeah it's always three things oh my god it's and always all of them things. are yeah. so dude one of them yeah. is always tarot card related yes yes and then but like the the like header on the business card is entrepreneur yeah and then it says Psychic model tarot card reader <laughs> pet sitter and you're like, you could pet, pet not walker. be more doomed I know. you couldn't be more doomed yeah, if yeah. i paid you to be voiceover actor when it's when it Dude. starts at model and just goes so downhill yes. so fast. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's also the doomed writer slash screenplay writer. This actually pivots perfectly into our next segment. Yes. Which is just in general, respectfully, if you're an actor, fuck oh, off. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. If yes. you're an actor... <laughs> And I went, I, I have most of a BFA in theater. Yes. Okay. I was an actor for yeah. a long time. I've done it. The only, unless you're great, yeah. there are a handful of great actors and that's fine. Anybody else, you are just Everybody. a talentless yeah, every, person yes. who just wants to you're be doomed. an artist. You're you're <laughs> truly doomed. Acting yeah. is the medium for the talentless to become an artist. Yes. <laughs> there, everybody I know who's like an aspiring actor is like, it's, every comic I know is a better actor than them. Because yes. comics are like good at doing that stuff, but we're not thinking about being actors. Right. And yeah. every scene, if you're an actor, you're like, mm. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I. Yes, I would. I would love to meet you there. <laughs> that was the you're like putting so much into yeah. the line. Yeah, the only, what the is only my... person worse at acting than actors is Andrea. <laughs> I'm actually the worst actor you've ever met Andrea. in your life. Andrea, I'm you actually... have no idea how bad Andrea is. Love I'm that. actually Give proud of that. Give her a line. I'm actually proud okay. of that. Okay, go ahead. Should I, I want to write one down and have you. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, no, write one down. Yeah. Do yeah. a little Chad screenplay. Like 10 seconds yeah, so, <laughs> okay, doomed, doomed actors always do this. You're talking to them and they go, I'm actually studying under blah, blah, blah. Meisner. With the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm studying Meisner, Meisner. technique Meisner. at Stella Adler. And you I, go, those so are two I, different <laughs> techniques, yes. but okay. Yes. I'm, uh, I'm learning the technique. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm doing the artist's way. I'm doing, I'm taking an Uda Hagen class. Yes. You're like, for what? Yeah, so I'm going for Meisner. Yeah. I know these things because I did this. They're always doing the Alexander technique, which is laying on a table mostly. Oh my god! <laughs> there couldn't be anything more doomed than that. Yeah, it's, it's and a they doom go, no, room. The studio's great. They have Alexander tables, which is just a table that can hold your body weight. And you go, okay, <laughs> all right, you're never gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, and then if you get stuck with an actor at a party. God, now you're doomed. Help you, yes. Now you're doomed. For They've the night. projected their doomdom onto you. Yeah. Also, how do people fuck actors? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I have a lot, dude. <laughs> how, Andrea? This, we this have a line, line for you. Insane. Okay, all right. Let's it's do emotional. it. Emotional. Wait, give her, an, give her an emotion. Yeah, so, give her a direction. Uh, you're breaking. You're breaking up with somebody that you love, <laughs> okay. and you have to try. And you're and you're leaving somebody <laughs> that you actually. Are I know we with. didn't talk about doing this, but this is <laughs> okay. great. You have to try. You have all to right. Try. I'm going to try. <sighs> <laughs> Stop. We can't laugh. We can't laugh. This is, is stupid. This is more embarrassing than everything. Anything <laughs> I've ever done on the podcast. And I have freestyle wrapped. Here we go. I don't know anymore, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go with Roger. Roger's great. Roger's perfect. You're a, hey, you're a genius. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I don't know anymore, Roger. <laughs> I think I just need. <laughs> the next line is so good. I think I just need time to remember who I am. <laughs> I think I just need time to remember yeah. <laughs> who I am. We had to read. Um, the writing may not be great. <laughs> we had to like play podcasters for a horror movie. Yeah. And Andrea's line was. <laughs> 
I said, have you heard about the blah, blah, blah killer? And Andrea's line was, no, what is that? And it took, I think, 37 days for us to get her to stop saying, no, what is that? (laughs) And I kept being like, like, I kept being like, and I can't stress this enough, just say it normal. Just Just say what you would We're giving you three words, and it's like you have to try to fuck that up. Be normal, yes. Yeah. No, what is that? Okay, I'm going to try to do it one more time. I'm going to do it one more time like I think an actor. Cool. Like okay. I think an actor would do it, or yeah. I would do it. Yeah. <laughs> this is for all the Marvels. <laughs> okay. I don't know anymore, Roger. I think I just need time to remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's never gonna happen. It's, it's never, never gonna, gonna happen. happen. Oh. But there's people that are this. Like they do what I just did, and yeah. they're like, I'm, and they're like, this is my art. Trust the process. Well, honestly, this is so. That's what you did. This yeah. is like what an actor. Okay. Would yeah. Yeah. Yeah, was yeah, great yeah. At this. Okay. this is what like an actor. <laughs> someone who's trying to be an actor is also yeah. not good at. Yeah. I don't know anymore, <laughs> Roger. I, I I think I just need time to remember who I am. That was yes, perfect. that was perfect. You know what? You nailed like, that actor. No one al- would also talk yes, like that. Yes. You nailed this thing that actors always do, which is the perfectly timed swallow. Yes. <laughs> actors yeah. think if they swallow after a word, they really, lot. they yeah. really nailed it. Or they go, so. they go. I don't know, Roger. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> They're and they go, making the noise. And yeah. they go, now that's real. I don't know, Roger. Oh. <laughs> they like blow a little bit. Yeah, <sighs> she got a little bit of lunch right there. <laughs> Have you guys ever had to do a table read? Yeah, there is we no. We were in one together. I know, and you were shitting your little pants the whole time because I can't. It's like it. Like, I know. I have like an allergic reaction. Well, Joe, to it. Joe makes great sketches that yes. you can see on his Instagram and TikTok and whatever. We'll plug it at the end. Plug, 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 <laughs> plug, plug. plug. And one time plugging. he texted me and asked if we both wanted to be in one, and I said I'm free that day, and Andrea doesn't do sketch. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't do it. I didn't invite you. I don't do it. It's horrible. And I told you I said that because I, would... I was like I'm. Protecting my friend. I would ruin <laughs> it. I appreciate that, though, versus somebody who's like, I would love, love, love to be in one. And then gets there and it goes, oh. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> every time every time one of Joe's sketches gets 100,000 likes, everybody's in an inbox like, and just throwing this out there oh, yeah, would be honored Dude. to be a part of your cum Love, sketch. love, also, love is a doomed phrase. Yeah. yeah. Love, love, would love yeah. what you're love, doing. Love, 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 yeah. Love, love, love. The satire. Ugh. Yeah. I also get pitched sketches from the most average male comics <laughs> oh, I've ever met. No I one can... that I respect, and they're like they're all just like yeah. these guys that I'm like chum like chummy with. Yeah, Maybe sure. I've met four times. Yeah. I'm like, all right. So it's like it's like a, a guy who's like trying to kill himself in his car, but it's like an e car, right? <laughs> So you can't. Is that a real one? Yeah, and got, so it's a Tesla, and I'm already thinking, well, I don't have a Tesla, right? And he goes, but then his Tesla. four-year-old daughter comes in. I'm like, don't have a four-year-old daughter, right? He's like, into the garage, don't have a garage. But the what, but the what vision, an absolute Joe. moron, <laughs> right? No, like, right. It's, it's your... And also, like, to pitch a sketch that takes that much production work that you don't have access to, that's not even funny. It's not even funny. It's almost beautiful. And then yes, the, it becomes it's almost transcendent. Yeah. It goes to transcendent. the other side, yeah. Here's the cherry on top. At the end, he goes, and um, yes, it, you could just like credit me as the writer or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you think I'm going to make a 90-second sketch and the credits are going to roll after? Also, the And you're going delusion... to rent, rent a Tesla to do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the credits are going to roll. Yeah. Also, the delusion these people have that you are going to make that sketch. Yeah, you nope. are going to put a cre- a cre- the credits <laughs> yeah. at the end and then someone's going to go, I have to follow that guy. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like I've well, been this guy's in, the brains behind this I've been in some it. of Joe's sketches that have gone viral, and people aren't like, who's that girl that said, what is that? It's not a right. big break for anybody. No, no. It's right. not even no. a big break for me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's like, who's that girl that made a funny face in that one shot? Like, it's never happened. Dude, also- if you were to just tag my page, perhaps. Oh, my God. <laughs> if I could have a morsel of what you have. <laughs> If I could have a mere morsel of your success. I'm dying to steal it from you like a succubus. I'll kill you for it. I would respect someone more if they DM Joe and was like, 
hey, if I had 10% of your followers, I'd be respected more. So anything you can do would be great. <laughs> that would be. Yeah, it would be a very transactional. If you could repost one of my reels, uh, yeah. I would really love that. Yeah, I'll, I'd be happy to, to buy a couple beers sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that would be self aware. I still wouldn't do it, but I would appreciate the self aware. Right. It'd be better than. Yeah. Now here's the idea. Right. Here's, here's my vision. Hey, it's, like, it's like they're really like, get this. Here's that sound you've been looking for. <laughs> and there's, like, there's no yeah. way I can tell them that I'm not interested without sounding like a pompous asshole. Yeah, now right. you're put in a position where you have to be a cunt. Yeah. Yeah. Now I have to be like, well, I actually am executing my own ideas right now. I just sound like an arrogant (laughs) prick. You you sound like a startup guy. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's one doomed people always lack self awareness and this doomed guy at the end of the show dog shit show hated right. us we held them captive it was truly a nightmare for it everyone was one involved of those, she told me about it I wasn't there but it's one of those shows that you do where you go oh man these people are never gonna see stand up comedy again yes dude I've been to so many of those and shows. we've all done a lot of those yes. shows it doesn't matter what kind of comedian you are you've been on those yeah. shows and if you're listening to this you may have been at one of those shows and I think you're right yes I think you're right to see that and then tell people you hate stand up <laughs> yeah and, and you hate me and you're right yeah yes yeah. and the, so at the end he goes let's stand by the door and f- get people to follow us on instagram and i said there's no way in hell i'm yeah. gonna force these people who have been held captive for, for like two seven hours. hours to be like it actually makes a big difference to my <laughs> career oh my god oh my god so embarrassing. yeah also like to admit to an audience that you're like still try <laughs> like, right yeah. like the point i always think like the point of the best thing to do at a show like that is to find a way to ensure the audience that you're a professional right you know what i mean because they walked into a situation where they thought they were getting a professional comedy show and now they feel weird and trapped yeah and yeah. The, the best thing to do is to ensure them that you know what you're doing right yeah. and you undo all of that work by going you know, it would really help me a lot if you could just give me a <laughs> right, follow. Right, right. And then they look at your Instagram and they have more followers oh than you. Yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. like, I should just hang She's like, myself. I'm a fitness. I'm a fitness. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. They have one million followers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's I, happened to me so many times. We're we a beautiful, never... a beautiful girl. It, yeah. She's just a beautiful. I mean, and that's a hard thing to do. Yeah. But she's just on Instagram as a beautiful girl. One of the hardest things to yeah, do. Yeah, it really is. A big <laughs> struggle. Comes up to me after a show and goes, I would love to follow you on Instagram. And I know that she's going to notice I have less followers than her. And I have to go, okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for adding on to the pile. Yep. It's just so embarrassing what we have to do to stand by the door as everybody's leaving. Like a hooker. And, yeah. And be like, I also made a zine. <laughs> right. <laughs> like a busted hooker just yeah, begging for anything, yeah. for scraps. Awful. I don't know what to do with this. I've said this to you before, but uh, comedians and pilots are the only two jobs in the world where you stand by the door and everyone <laughs> walks out and you look at them like... And, and then they, 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 feel, they feel weird like they have to say thank you I to know. you. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to look at them like, do you like me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you like what I did up there? Remember, the, remember how I landed it? Sentence. I yeah. landed the plane. That's the same sentence for both of them. <laughs> yeah. Did you like what I did up there? Was that okay for you? Did you feel safe? Do you like my work? <laughs> Yeah, this guy said to me, he's like, this is actually the most important thing to do for your career. And I was like, our career? Yeah. We're at a coffee shop in New Jersey. Yeah, the most important thing to do for your career is, is kill yourself. Kill yourself. <laughs> yes. It would help. It would help. Great. It would really help. It if you killed help. yourself, people would go, he would have been great. Yes. Yeah. He was about to be people great. People who would never say anything nice about you in your life would go, you know, you know he was just really a- he, yeah. he was a really hard worker. He was working yeah. through and the I'll artist's what, way, and I was seeing improvement. And I'll tell you what loved his wife L- nutted so hard loved his wife also, it's busted a, it, in her every chance it's yeah. a shit strategy because what you want to collect for Instagram followers per show yes then you're going to have to do 250,000 shows <laughs> like what, what <laughs> like even a is week. the strategy yes. <laughs> yeah. you're going to have to go on a mega bus for the rest of your life to get like 6,000 Instagram followers and you're still not funny so no one cares so I yeah. do 40 spots a night and I get 4 <laughs> followers from each one <laughs> it's hustle culture yeah the other doomed people like doomed business people are hustle culture people where they're like yeah. 6 a.m. I wake up. I do a power shake. I clock I in an email Dunkin to Donuts. Em- yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what are you talking about? I text about? my first girlfriend. Like, who was the guy who got busted for having six? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I send emails to 45 people who never want to hear from me again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I cold call a single mother and ruin her morning. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sick. Rise yeah. and grind, king. Oh, my God. I did a table read once where it was a play that was about 
being trans. So already it's a very <laughs> sensitive. Already. I love that you did. I love that you did delicate hands when you <laughs> said that. Being, being trans. Being trans. And <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> it sucks. So it bad. sucks when someone's play about you know being sad. trans is bad. Again, I yeah. went to theater school. I had to read these plays all the time. Yes. And it sucks when it's bad and it's like about their identity. You're bringing down the whole movement. And yes. You have to be like, I it's I don't think it's bad that you're trans. Right. right. But you are a bad playwright. Structurally, <laughs> the play's bad. Yes. Yeah. I, I am the best actor in this room, and that's <laughs> saying a lot. Yeah. And this person, we did the the read, and everyone was high, and I was high, so I was like losing my mind at how bad it was. <laughs> and one one of the actors went, "I really think you want to break it apart and then put it back together." And I, <laughs> that'll make me flip a table. I, 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 Just I, like gender. I pissed my pants. I literally pissed my pants. I went to the bathroom and I left the apartment without telling anyone. I was like, I have to leave or else I'm a bigot. I yeah. have to leave. This is yeah, you can't laugh so hard in someone's face you pissed up your pants <laughs> yes, and then brutal. go back to the table where you'd like, no, let's really let's really work on this. Yeah, let's, no. let's dive Sorry, I just in. pissed myself in, in, in hysteria. Sorry, this is so bad and doomed that I lost control of my yeah. faculties. <laughs> let's take it from the top. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine being so doomed you make someone shit their pants? <laughs> this is like someone said to us once we were talking to a comedian so who was like at the so at the time like the same level as us, and he goes, "Yeah, I just need a broad city." <laughs> like, like. Yeah, as long as I mean, if they could do it, I could do it. Right. Type of thing. I just need a hit TV show. It's right. So funny that's when that's once in a decade. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I, as long as once I get that, I'll be fine. And we had to be like, totally. Yeah, a hundred percent. Actually, I do think I laughed in his face yes. when he said that because I was like, yeah, man. We all need a fucking broad city. Yeah. Like, also, they worked like, really hard on that. Well, it's too late in the game to like figure out the road, and I never really got a manager, so I just need like a broad city. <laughs> yeah. I just need like if, and then I'll just be. That's like that's like somebody nice. being like. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's like somebody being like, I just need a citizen cane, and then I'll be respected. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, man. I think if I yeah. find a briefcase of money by the river, <laughs> yeah. then I should be. Good. I haven't saved anything. Yeah, yeah. it's like you—you right. you just told me that if only I were talented, I would have something. Right, and it's like, yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. Yep. <laughs> yeah, totally. Dude, the doomed play about being trans. There was an actual line in <laughs> what it. Was it called doomed? <laughs> Shut up. Was, there was a line in it where they were playing their young self, and they went. When is my pee pee gonna grow in? <laughs> and I was like, what? Oh my god! Oh, because oh. they were like a girl. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, you use pee pee. When does it sprout for you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I'll text you. Yeah, I've been yes. meaning that. Yeah. Uh, the, the morning I wake up and it's there, I'll shoot you a text. Yeah. I'll never forget when mine sprouted. Yeah. 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 That was a big day for you, huh? Yeah. yeah. Last year? No, it was last year. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations. It was two weeks ago. <laughs> two weeks ago. Uh, whoopsie. Oh. oh, my God. We have to take a break because yeah. I'm going to shit my actual pants, but we'll be right we'll back. We'll be right folks. back. And we're back from our pregnant pause. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. It's a me, Mario. Okay. I'm a doom. <laughs> <laughs> now, Luigi is yeah. doom. Luigi is yeah. doom. I called, was Luigi's doom. They're called the Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. doom. Yeah, they're not even called by their last name. Yeah. I resent you. <laughs> and you can hear it in my voice. <laughs> he has a haunted mansion. Yeah. I'm so glad we still have Italians to make fun of. Ugh, that's our final frontier of racism. Um. <laughs> Until one of them comes back in the fold. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. Let's all right. We're gonna play a game that we've played before on the podcast. The let's game go. is called To Live. Oh. If you're an avid listener of the podcast, you know what you love it. It's Here's how game. it works. I'm gonna give you a situation, okay? Like, uh, and like the way this game started was we would name some, we would name a person we both know, and you would have to say in order to fuck them, you either name an amount of money, mm -hmm. or if there's no amount of money, it's the next level is for all of your hopes and dreams. And even if, if that won't do it, the next level is would you do it to live? As in, if you didn't do it, you die. You passed away. So, so let me get this straight. Somebody I don't want to fuck, probably. Well, that's not. So we can't do that because that would just be mean. Yeah. yeah. Be so mean. I'm going to give you like a scenario. Like one we did in the past was you have to wear a karate uniform everywhere. Okay. And you have to say either an amount of money it would take 
But then if you decide that there's okay. no amount of money, would you do it for your hope and hopes and dreams? And if that's still not the case, all, all of the hopes and dreams we can't parse up a few. Of you, <laughs> no, <laughs> all of them, okay. the yeah. whole thing. And if that still won't do it, would you do it to live? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there are some things, there are some people I wouldn't fuck to live. Yeah, that's shock. Right. Uh, there's no one I wouldn't fuck to live. There are some people I would not, because I, now I have to live with that. Yeah. yeah. And I'd rather die. Yeah. There's probably some doomers that I would end it for. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah. let's ask Joe some of these. Uh, number I'm a mean one, lady. <laughs> just the idea of you killing yourself to not fuck a guy is so yeah, funny. Right, right in front so of him. Funny. Yeah. Right in front of him. If it Pull was the like trigger. well cataloged <laughs> yes. in, in, in the obituary. <laughs> and we're all like, she's actually a hero. Yeah. I want an obituary to really tell us what happened. Yeah. I know. Why don't <laughs> yeah. they? To really give us the tea. Because they know we're going to look into it. Yeah. Just yeah. fucking tell us what happened. Yeah. yeah. What happened? He slipped. On a fucking banana. Pie. Can, you that? Can you believe that? How did one Ducardi? Also, I'm like terrible father. I'm kind like, of a yeah, shitty yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in my obituary because people always think that it's the worst case. It scenario. would be so yeah. funny in True. your obituary. Sorry to derail the segment, yeah, but like, okay. if you, yeah, just be like, in my will, I want you to write very specifically. How <laughs> yes, I want mind. most of the obituary to be specifically <laughs> step by step. How step by step? What took me? Yeah. yeah. My, describe my last gasps. He was air. taken yeah. in the night. Yeah. Because yeah. everyone's gonna think I overdosed. Yeah, they are. So if I did tell him I did, and if I didn't fucking tell him I did it at your eulogy, I'd be like, "Didn't overdose. She made it to the end. Not a <laughs> not a sex accident. That's pretty good. Not two domestic two. violence. Wow. Yeah. Not, neither of her tits popped out. Yeah, not in her final moment, she was a beautiful angel. She was not gunned down by an ex. No, it probably was that. It yeah, was, <laughs> it probably yeah. Gunned was down that. by an ex. Yeah, gunned down by a by a fucking asshole. Yeah. And gone God. down by a doomed man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready for your first one? Let's go. <clears throat> okay, what would it take for you to A, be a Subway sandwich artist and, <laughs> and refer to yourself as such? And every time someone says something else, you have to correct them. Wait, every time somebody says what? Yeah. Every time someone's like, this is Joey works at Subway. I'm like, I'm actually, say, actually a Subway actually, sandwich, I'm a sandwich <laughs> artist. Yes. I would kind of revel in that, yeah. actually. But it's real, and it's it can't be ironic. It has yeah. to be real. Um, Let's see. So I either have to give up all my money. No, no, no. You, What amount of money would you do it for? But if there isn't an amount of money, would you do it for all your hopes and dreams? Oh, okay, I got it. Or would you do it to live? Do it to live. And so that means you're like winning... Oscars or awards for TV show you're writing, but, but you also having to go to Subway but yes, you are at the same time. Artist. Yeah. Yeah, they'll kind of defeat the purpose of the hopes and dreams. I'll go, uh, and this is for life. I'm this a sandwich for artist yeah. for the rest of my life. For life. And you correct people. Actually, let's do this. You're a sandwich artist for 11 years. Ooh, for, 11 years? A good for 11 years? That's a great yes. amount of time. Yeah, yeah, that's great. For 11 years, crippling. you are. And, but yes, right. I will say after that 11 years, if people go, what What did you do before this? You have to say, I was a sandwich artist. I was a sandwich artist. Yeah. I think I'd do it for my hopes and dreams because then the yeah. money would come with that. Right. Yeah. 11 yeah. years. Wow, though. I could do 11 years in, su in a subway for my hopes and dreams. Yeah, I, for sure. There was I'd a work it in. There, yeah. um, uh, Mike Lawrence, who's like a very successful comedian now, like TV writer yeah. for the most part, he worked at McDonald's for around that time period right. as well. I don't think there's anything wrong with just working there. Sure. My problem is the prideful sandwich artist. Right. I'm actually sure. a sandwich artist. I'm a, a, yeah. a, 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 a sandwich artist, yeah. actually. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would love to. <laughs> yeah. Would I rule. do think if I worked at Subway, that would be my coping mechanism. Yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go, lay the baloney like a deck of cards. I dated Is a guy. Your card? I would have a fucking painter's palette with a little bit of mayonnaise on it. A little bit. A little bit, a little of, bit of yum yum gu sauce. Guacamole on it. <laughs> yeah. Some salt and vinegar. Yeah. And yeah. I have a little brush that I painted each. <laughs> yeah. each. I dated a guy who worked at Subway and every time he was like yeah that's how I worked at Subway and I would be like the summer you were a sandwich artist yes <laughs> don't put yourself it. down no, in front of it. <laughs> he hated it he hated it sandwich artist yeah you're taking a long time the customer's like I'm actually in a rush and you're like bup, 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 bup. my art Sorry, is designed would you... to be shit out in 12 hours <laughs> would you rush Picasso <laughs> <laughs> you stupid bitch okay that was a pretty easy one I guess yeah. I thought that'd be harder but you guys were all on board with I'm being so on board with sandwich artists. Yeah. You Let's gotta do hit it me now. where it hurts. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna cut off your penis. Okay, ready for the next one? Yeah. Smell like shrimp. 
<laughs> all the time. For the rest of your life. All the time and distinctly. Yeah. You smell uh, like shrimp. Someone's like, does that See, it's you? not the worst smell, but it's far but from it's, the best. Yeah. And it's crazy. When when someone pins it. Yeah. Right. When someone goes, oh my God, it's shrimp. I think yeah. I take shrimp over like a really fishy like fish smell. Sure. But that's what's fun about this game. Shrimp's because like if it's vague. a really fishy fish smell, you're like, it has to be all my hopes and dreams or to live. But shrimp, it's kind of sweet. In no it 11 years, sweet. we're going lifetime? We're going lifetime. Lifetime shrimp. Lifetime shrimp. You're doomed to smell like shrimp. Hmm. <laughs> and people are like, what does he like, have cash? The problem with yeah, money is there's no amount of money that can insulate yourself from smelling like shrimp. Right. No, yeah. no, no, no. no yeah. You can't buy your way out of shrimp. You can't buy your way out of shrimp. No matter what, you're you can't gonna even really smell hope like shrimp. And dr- hopes and dreams your way out of shrimp. Because no, because now you're the guy who smells like shrimp. You're the guy who right, smells you're like, like shrimp. a director who oh, smells you're like, like oh, shrimp. Oh, you mean the guy who made that movie that smells like shrimp? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it would be like if everyone knew that Tarantino smelled like shrimp. Every right. every woman would go, I'm seeing a new guy. He, he does, does smell, smell like shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> but he's really he's successful. So nice. Oh, sorry. I think I'm just a, an idiot. <laughs> Explain to me the to live portion because So now it comes to what if you if you didn't do this you would die? Would yeah. you do it or would you die? Oh. God. So like now, now you don't get any money, <laughs> you don't get any success. It's dumb that I've do thrown away the success to money. Yeah. yeah, what are you doing? Well, now the, the shrimp smell has made me throw away the money and success. <laughs> yes. And now it's a well, life or death question. Yeah. Some things that are like almost worse because all of our hopes and dreams, like the three people at this table, they do equate to being famous. Yeah, there are some things like smelling sh- like shrimp where it's almost worse if you're famous. It's worse if you're yeah. Famous. Everyone now knows. You, now you publicly smell and like shrimp. And everyone can write off your art because you. Smell, you like, smell shrimp. like shrimp. Yeah. Oh yeah, it sounds like something a guy who smells like shrimp would say. Yeah. What are you a pervert? Imagine you're walking yeah. the red carpet at the ed- Emmys and the interviewer is like, "What are you wearing?" <laughs> this, I don't care how funny somebody is if I know they smell like shrimp. I'm never yeah. gonna be around. I'll them. never yeah. be around you yeah. if you smell like shrimp. I think I. You could live in the forest. I guess I'll do. I guess I'll do like a couple. I guess I'll do like twenty million dollars. Okay. Yeah, because that works. then I can just like have all of these lovely things and be like, "Yeah, I smell like shrimp." But you don't want and, a yacht. And women yeah. will fuck you. Yes, And they it's will. outside to get a little bit breeze going. Like, I still smell, right? But at least we're not trapped also, in this room. Also, if you have, like, I would do it for probably more. But if you have, like, like let's say I would do it for, like, $50 million. Yeah. But if I have $50 million, I can also always strategically have shrimp around. That's, oh, that's brilliant. yeah. And nobody and knows that. Yeah. People yeah, just yeah. think I'm a weirdo who loves shrimp. But what about shrimp? when you have sex? Also, uh, yeah. When you cuddle and have sex, there's, and you, you really can't have, smell you like can't shrimp. have shrimp around for that. So a rich bachelor <laughs> yeah. that smells like shrimp is somehow better than a director that smells like shrimp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't this know why. I'm taking the money. I'm taking the money and I'm fucking You can just be exce- an eccentric shrimp guy. Yeah. You wear linen suits. You smell like shrimp. You smell like shrimp. You fuck models. We're going on the yacht. It's going to fucking Rule. We're yeah. going to St. Yeah, Bart's yeah. with yeah. this guy who smells like shrimp. Yeah. I don't want to be an acoustic singer songwriter that <laughs> oh, smells like shrimp. God. Are you kidding me? An actor who smells like shrimp. Who just reeks of shrimp. It's the doomedest, doomedest, doomed. It's so doomed. Yeah. <laughs> just it, imagine you're up for best supporting actor and you're really good at it. Yeah. And you're then, really good. And then and then you don't get it and they cut the camera back to you and everyone's watching you not get it and they know you smell like shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> and the people around you are like subtly like doing one of these <laughs> yeah. and, and they come back to your face and you're just like <laughs> and you're just like mm. <laughs> <laughs> fucking table read with the shrimp guy oh my god We're like can we stop this for a second is there like shrimp in the room even or? just being like listen joe is really funny and i want to invite him to the party but oh my god yeah but we all know that he smells like shrimp but, see, but if you're like a and 50 millionaire if yeah. you're like 100 millionaire then you have the party it's your yeah. party yeah. all the time I mean yeah. pe- the shrimp thing is a reality for people who have hal- halitosis but that's not shrimp it's, it's so shrimp it's, like a it's, smell. A, it's close to shrimp yeah, but that's like when I meet somebody like that, I, I'm just yeah. like, that's not their fault. For sure, but shrimp isn't your fault but, either. But nobody knows that. Yeah, no, I know. Nobody knows that. Nobody know like, sh- the shrimp is something that gets in your lizard brain and makes you not trust You're someone. like, this person yeah, has a disease. Because it's like a crustacean. Yeah, it's yeah, different some than sort of a fish. It's like a cricket Yeah, it's a sea, sea bug. <laughs> it's yeah, a, it's a sea, sea bug. Yeah, it's a sea bug. And you smell yeah. like it, and that's so weird. And nobody understands why. Like, people are, like, having conversations behind your back where they're like, I don't know. Maybe he like a liver, eats a pancreas. He's like on a weird diet where he eats a lot of shrimp, or like yeah. he has a lot of cats. I don't know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's so tough. bad. 
Yeah, give me all the money. I'll take yeah, the money. Yeah, I'm doing, the I'm money. doing money, money on this. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, doing yeah, money yeah, on this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we I all... I think the next one is going to be kill myself. We, yeah. all, <laughs> we all, for the right price, yeah. would smell like shrimp. Yeah. And that's beautiful. Okay, earnestly become a slam poet. <laughs> <laughs> earnestly. Earnestly. You're posting it on Instagram, and you're doing your best. Are you posting videos of yourself? Yes. Or are you doing the, the... You're posting videos of yourself, not oh, in front of an audience. Gosh. Oh. Raindrops. Just alone. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My mother's breasts. So now if I take hopes and dreams, are my hopes and dreams becoming a... No, you can scene? pivot. You can pivot. But, but I'm, the I evidence is still there. Poetry. Yes. The evidence is still... And the evidence is still there. It's like, so yeah. you have you to be a comedian slash Comedian slash is slam like poet. mostly a slam poet. Yeah. Yeah. And it's bad. Yeah. It's exactly right? like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're yeah. also an amazing comedian. Right, you're but, just but, as but I'm a bad it. slam poet. Or am, I, am I just the slam poet that I'm capable? I don't know. If I would you're, say you're like, yeah, you're the yeah, slam poet that you you're have capable in you. of being. Because I feel like if I'm an amazing comic now, then I could use some of that for my slam poetry. But yeah, it's a completely different world. Yeah. Wait, pause. But, Do you want to hear something insane? One time, I was oh my god, so manic. I remember. This. I was at a cafe where I work, where they have open mics at night That's a nightmare. and they have comedy ones sometimes but they had a poetry one one time and i was like you know what let's do it, Let it ride. and i went up <laughs> Let it ride. bombed oh yeah what did you say up there it she was just like, read her journal it, i read Park. my journal yeah Park. It, it was like <laughs> My father. It oh, was so oh. bad piss poop. Box. Yeah, no, I deserved it. I deserve that it. Big... Do the sad face. Yeah, it was so bad, and and I was like, I'm gonna be the best one. I was like, I'm gonna come up there because I'm a comedian and I have experience performing. Yeah, and it's gonna yeah. be so. Who do you think you are? Okay, what about I don't, this? I'm... This might be harder. Yeah, everything you say, you have to say in slam poet cadence oh. to live. So even when you're like ordering at a restaurant, you have to go the steak. And the salad. You could <laughs> never date. Sun. You could never date. You could never. Yeah. I mean, you could date someone who fucking sucks. You could date, yeah. <sighs> there live. are people who like would think that was deep, who suck. For sure. And you um, could date Then them. you're hanging out with doomed people all the time. Yeah. I'm not good at slam poetry cadence, and I'm trying to give an example, but um, I can't like wrap my hands well, around it. Joe, do you have this? It's, it's harder, it's harder this than, the, than the shrimp thing because- you, with the shrimp thing, you could still be rich and like have a bunch of friends, and it's like, yeah, I smell like shrimp, but I throw awesome parties. <laughs> but but if I'm if I'm talking like a slam poet, so what? I smell like yeah, shrimp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking, but I'm a great time, right? I'm sick of talking I'm a, about I'm this. An awesome hang. <laughs> I'm an awesome hang. But, I'm sorry, I smell like shrimp. But if you're talking like a slam poet, you're not an awesome hang. No, the hang's done. No. Yeah. The, the hang's hang done. is toast. It's toast. <laughs> so the money can't. Everyone hates you. Yeah, you try to do it. <laughs> Because you, I need a line. Also, I need you not, to, I need you're you're not write me a line. Roger. <laughs> it, I'm gonna look yeah, up a let slam. Let me try. Poem. Let me try to read that line. I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah re read that. that read that okay, in slam. Where, where did it go? Also, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube, you have to be because Joe looks so much like a slam poet right now. It's crazy. I know, yeah. It is crazy. Like from the time when that was beatnik and cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I know how to talk like slam poet. I'll give a shot. Let me find a slam poem. I don't know anymore, Roger. <laughs> I think I. Just need the time to remember who I am. <laughs> so that's you all the yeah, time. That's you all the time. Just quiet and loud. Yeah, right? that's, that's all it is. It's yeah. quiet and loud, and it's yeah. pregnant pausy. Yeah, pregnant pausy. Yeah, and it's also like you have to go really slow and then go really fast. Yeah, yeah. You have to say you a have ton to go, of words. I just have to remember. I don't know why we're both doing a southern <laughs> yeah. accent. You have to go. I just have to. I just have to remember right now who I am. I do. Who I am. <laughs> You Raj. could you could go to a slam poetry open mic with that, and afterwards people would be like, "Wow, wow. that was actually really great." <laughs> wow. Yes, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, the thing about slam poetry is it's, nobody knows when it's good. No, it's all, well, it's all the voice. It's yeah, all just it's all the voice. Also, hot take: I don't think a white person can do slam poetry. I agree. Hit me. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna do a hand because check on that. Us. Yeah. I have seen black people do it, yeah. and it's cool. And it's oh really yeah, good. Rocks. It's so cool. Yeah. But then when white they people do it, you go, just, "What are you I up think. to?" Yeah, yeah you yeah. go, they "You're doomed," and you no pivoted whites, to this. No Latinos, no <laughs> Indians, no Asians. <laughs> no, I think it's just it's black just art black form. Yeah, it's like rap music. You have to be so good to not be black to transcend. Yeah, you really have to go the extra. Yeah, yeah, the eight mile. You have to go the eight mile. I'm going to live. I'm going to live on the slam poem. I'm going to live. Yeah. Yeah. I would rather yeah. speak in slam poetry than die, but just by a hair. I've looked into all of it. Uh, money, again, I went over that. 
that's no good. No. I'll do to live. Yeah. 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 Well, let's find out what's on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's find out yeah. because I bet it's not slam poetry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. What about this one? Everywhere you ha- you walk, you have every time you walk, every time you take a step, you have to moonwalk, but it's flawless. Hundred bucks. It's phenomenal. But then bucks. you're going through your life backwards through the subways everywhere. Yeah, but love then you it. Get you're moonwalking everywhere. Let's think about the consequences. But you're so good you're at so it. Good. You're better than you're. You're Michael Jackson level moonwalking. Am I but also time, a pedophile? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, yes. The next yeah. one is be a pedophile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> $300. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Already am. Next question. Oh, um, you mean my hopes and dreams? <laughs> <laughs> to be rich enough to be a pedophile with no consequences? Love it. For at least 30 years. An yeah. awesome moonwalk every time. And like, think about being a comedian. Every time you get on stage, moonwalk. Yeah. Again, kind of have to be black to pull that off. Yeah, but you're not. So I know. factor that in. Yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of funny if it's flawless and you look schlubby like I do a little bit. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, like, I think hilarious. I can work it into my act. But also, yeah. like, then, <laughs> but then, like, <laughs> <laughs> At some point, we're all like, all right. Enough with it. But what if, can I be like, I can't stop? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. No, in all of these, oh. you're not allowed to say that it's a curse. Yeah. That's tough. That's You're really not allowed hard. to be like, I went on a podcast in 2024 I and I was cursed. Because I think I get all my hopes and dreams <laughs> and then blow them cunts. all with the moonwalking. Yeah, I think you, it would could, tank them you all. could tank them. Yeah. Well... I would do it for like a no, cool No, you can't bill. tank them because in this, you're secure. But you'd never be able to see in front of you. You're always walking backwards. Yep. Yeah. Well, you can over the shoulder. Yeah. <sighs> You got a real crick in your neck, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Not the life for me. I think give me to live. To live? To live? Yeah, I don't want And it. you'll just be a guy who moonwalks everywhere who's poor and trying to do oh, stand-up. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought it's to die. I thought you die. You die. But you die if you don't do it. Yeah. yeah. I'll take that. You'll die. <laughs> yeah. You'd rather die than moonwalk everywhere flawlessly? Yeah, I think so. I'm, see, I'm already a, a, a weird guy. Yeah. I think I could work this into my whole general personality. I think yeah. it's too... Your personality does not have space to ha- bring <laughs> this in. You don't have this in yeah. your real house. Also, yeah, my, my spatial awareness yes. is so Yeah, bad. Andrea, what you just said is tough but fair. It is, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> love, love, love you. But... <laughs> You just don't have it's this. It's not going to work. It's not, not going to work. You're going to have to die. You're uh, yeah. not going to be able to pull it off. You <laughs> yes. must I, I, die. I, I, yeah, must yeah. Die. I already am falling everywhere and yeah. wearing yeah. big coats and being and doing slam poetry because yeah. I'm having My a manic episode. My personality also does not have the space. No, for you it. don't. No, yeah. I, don't think, I would no, do it for, I would do it for like $200 million. Yes. Yeah. And now it's just like I have a great life. So you can and I'm go to the backwards. actual moon and then moonwalk on the moon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that'll go viral. I yeah. guess I would do it for all the money in the world. I mean, I guess better than nothing. Right. But then it's a whole life. It's yeah. a whole life. It is a whole life. Can I walk but into I guess, traffic when I've had enough? I guess you can always Wa- moonwalk, moonwalk into, into traffic. traffic. Moonwalk yeah. into traffic. <laughs> <laughs> You've had enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can moonwalk right off the side of a building. Right, if give, you me like. a, give me a hu- cool hundred million. Nice. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I could honestly just do this if I'm being realistic. Well, then do it. Do you want like two grand just to like have some spending money? Yeah. Well, then. Right now. I'll put I'll put rollerblades on and do it in the park. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, goes on for a long time. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> it's like a popcorn machine. Okay, what about this this one? For the rest of your life, all the time you have like when little kids get Kool Aid mouth, like the red lines <laughs> on the top of your lip. That's pretty good. From when you chug Gatorade or Kool Aid. Yeah. For the rest of your life, you have Kool Aid mouth. What do you think? <laughs> Maybe I could work it into my act. Yeah, yeah. for a while. Yeah, yeah. I'm Kool Aid Mouth. Yeah. yeah. I've mm. been eating Kool Aid Man's pussy. Moonwalk. Yeah, we're selling t shirts in the lobby. Yeah. I'm Kool Aid Mouth. Now tell me this can I lie about my condition? Can I say, well, I have a condition? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can have a disease. I would take the hopes and dreams. I'd have Kool Aid Mouth, and then I'd say, yeah, I have a very rare form of osteobronchitis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And it does this. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. That's a good. Yeah. W- that's a good workaround. Like people who have um, what's the the thing that makes your skin all dry and patchy and red? Yeah, but this, AIDS. but this is yes. distinctly. Yeah, you could say you have AIDS. Face AIDS. But yeah. this is distinctly Kool Aid mouth. Like if you lie and say you have a condition, people are gonna go. All right. There will be a subreddit about it. People yeah. are gonna go. It's definitely Kool Aid. But I'll mouth. hold. Yeah. I'll hold firm. Yeah. And like yeah, your, you have to. Your teeth yeah. are a little blue or red or whatever it is. Do I get to pick my color? No. Which did I just get a random color? Yeah, I think it's red. Purple, be blue or red. I, I think red because it looks more like jarring blood. Than red. red looks a little bit like blood, which is makes yeah, it but if worse it's blue, and weirder. I, blue is more jarring because red is at least blue. Like, <laughs> yeah, you wake blue up. Blue it has to be Kool Aid. 
Or it's like I'm seriously worried. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Red is yeah. like his skin gets red sometimes. <laughs> Maybe it's sure. a thing. Yeah, but I it does look it like make... you're bleeding out of your nose all the time. But blue? What are you, yeah. an alien? <laughs> yeah, like, I guess so. I think it would make people think I was an alcoholic who just <laughs> loves like a blue curacao. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you could act That's drunk all the disease. time. You could yeah. just be drunk all the time. Yeah. I would do it for the hopes. Yeah, I do it for hopes and dreams. I'll take hopes and dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Also, like, you can think, like, included in my hopes and dreams is, like, falling in love. So someone has to love you. I know it's yeah. so. What, it, what are you an actor? So like, some, <laughs> but I'm saying like someone has to love your Kool Aid mouth. Yeah. If you get people all your loved much worse. People love. Oh, for sure. Fucking polyamorous Somebody guys. Loved, I've loved an actor. Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you had a girlfriend, and it was me. Yeah. <laughs> Still do. Just yeah. Lane Maxwell. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about all the time you have to dress like you're in an early 2000s emo band? People are doing that now in Bushwick. Yeah, that's I true. I know. Yeah. That's true. But I would just have to do a pivot. You have to do it. Yeah. You'd have to Honestly, hard Honestly, to have it. any sense of style at all <laughs> yeah. would be like that's a true. good I did direction. I forget that you yeah. are a Coles catalog of a man. Just any yeah. direction at all might be helpful. You yeah, have, for let you me to say have this. any personal style, it yeah. would be a, great. Sometimes you need like confinements creatively to like do anything. Right. Yeah. Your your issue with clothing. I have too many options, so I choose nothing. Is yeah. Exactly. Well, yes. Okay. To be honest, though, you've gotten a lot better. And I mean, you've gotten better. Yeah. And we talk about this when you're not around. <laughs> yeah. We go, well, I'm that, really trying. That we talk corduroy? about it when you're not around. Yeah. yeah. There are some things that we could do. But yeah, that corduroy shirt. The corduroy we shirt about. is great. Yeah. I'm I really have. working on it. I'm I, cheering you. I got another for corduroy. You. I figured I got one thing that works. Let's double down. Yes, I'm cheering and I love you that. from the sidelines. You look great, Lizzie, babe. Lizzie and I are going to go pants shopping one of these days. We've She's been talking about it for a year. He We've refuses to go. You're in the process of a New York City glow up. We'll go. I like it. I hate when we fight. Yes. <laughs> ladies, ladies, ladies. Uh, um, so emo band. So uh, break it down for me. I got a nose so ring. So like the swoop hair. The swoop hair. With like like purple tips. Yeah. yeah eyeliner. It's like, it's like this. Yeah. I'm wearing like a black cut off sleeveless shirt. You're or a My Chemical Romance jeans. shirt. Yeah, tight. Super very skinny jeans. jeans. It's and like I'm a thinking, nightmare to get on and off. Yes, I'm you're, you're jumping wearing, in. You're doing the, this when you get into that. You're wearing guys. very skinny jeans. Um, your uh, balls are inside uh, your body. It must be so embarrassing to have sex in those jeans because you take 30 minutes to get them off. Yeah, You're like hopping time. around yeah. someone's... Yeah. And you're wearing like and a blazer. And i fucked a lot of those guys. <laughs> yeah. And you're wearing some top. sort of blazer. Yeah. And yeah. maybe a tie. Yeah. Ooh, the tie is really brutal. And sometimes, okay, your hair... tie. Or a vest... Sometimes your hair goes to the side. Sometimes you part of it up, part of it down. Yeah, like oh, the up like, and down. Yeah, sucks. The up and yeah. crazy. Which is like yeah, the Karen sucks. haircut, but it's dyed black. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is a Karen. Yeah. And yeah. it's on a man, and you have to do this a lot. Yeah, yeah, to get you out of your face, thing? the sweepy. Ooh, my poop do I need the attitude to match, or can I just talk like <laughs> I do now? <laughs> you have what to talk you? like this. Where are you? Because <laughs> that would be if I just talked like this, but I looked like that. <laughs> Actually, that's yeah. funnier. I think. Yeah, I think it's way better. If you got I on say, stage and you were like, yeah. I took a Spirit Airlines flight, and yeah. you looked like that. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty fun. Hopes and dreams is tough because it's embarrassing to walk around like that. But. Yeah, but you might get used to it. Yeah. You almost might start to love it like it's a munch It's giving like thing. Russell Brand. Yeah. I think I'll take hopes and dreams and just hope that I figure it out. Yeah, yeah. I think you will. Yeah. I think you will. Yeah. I'm going to do I'm gonna do to live. Wait, I just thought of this one because you said it. What about to be Munchausen's by proxy? <laughs> <laughs> You're the proxy. <laughs> You're the baby getting fed poison. Yeah. Dude, to live, just kill me. Yeah, uh, I don't. Yeah, yeah. to live. That one's, that one's to not, live. What do I that want the money for? The money was so my mom can take the money and like use it to like make... give me AIDS. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to inject me with like cancer or whatever. <laughs> Baby's sick. <laughs> Sweet baby is sick. That's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. Munchausen's <laughs> the funniest disease. Yeah, it's Nobody, so fucked up. It's so Nobody funny that you can disease you. someone else. I know. It's insane. That's yeah. like when some doomed person doomed you, you know? You yeah. can be so yeah. mentally ill that you, that you, get you poison your baby. Poison yeah. the baby. It's a terrible thing to laugh about, this, but yeah. it's so insane. It's so insane. And it just happens. And we go, okay. <laughs> um, we have a. We got to move on soon, so let's, let's do, do the, last the headliner because this is probably my favorite. <laughs> this is of, my favorite of one. The this whole is thing. my favorite one. I have to give credit where credit is due. My boyfriend thought of this one. Yeah. Um, every time you say someone's ethnicity, you have to use air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> I already do that anyway. Yeah, uh, and it's like you're not using it like you're using it in the correct context. You're yeah. not like a racist guy all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but, but like you have to go. You have to. Go. He's Filipino. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have to go. Oh, you don't know him? He's uh, he's the black guy who works <laughs> at the coffee shop. 
<laughs> give me give me ten grand. Let's roll with it. Yeah, <laughs> let's yeah. roll the dice on it. Yeah, yeah. Give me a couple of some spending money and let's let's, let's figure it out. Let's take it out for a walk yeah. in See, Brooklyn. I, I think, might try that anyway. I yeah. think it comes across so much cuntier as a white woman. Yes. Yeah, for because sure. white women white are woman. doing that thing where they're like they Penny's whisper. Black. Yeah. If anything, I would just get a larger fan base. Yeah, you would. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. You would blow up off of yeah, this. Yeah, for sure. I think I would have. I would need like. I would need like a hundred million. Dollars. Hopes and dreams for me. Hopes and dreams. Big yeah, time. hopes and dreams. I'll yeah. do it. Hopes yeah. and dreams. Hopes and dreams. I'll do it, and I'll just be one of those people who describes. Once you get canceled immediately, if you're walking around, going, but then I might pivot MAGA or something. Yeah, like you I'll have a I mean? fan base I hate. Yeah. But at least I can do comedy. Like, but I would also do that thing that white women do, where like if I was describing a black person, I'd be like, he has brown eyes. Dark hair. Oh yeah, you try. He's to wearing avoid. a blue shirt. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and people yeah. go, oh, the black guy. Don't you go, make me spell Bingo. Anyway. Yeah, but I can't but say no, it because I'm somebody, gonna have to do but this. Somebody else goes, oh, the black guy. You have to be right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, have have go, you have to go. Allegedly, yeah. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, you have to say allegedly. You have to say allegedly. <laughs> I have I have a comedy special that says <laughs> "Don't quote me," and I'm on the front <laughs> doing the quote. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quote me. Uh, don't quote me, great. Yeah. Don't quote me on this. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. The bat, I'm doing backwards quotes on the other side, on yeah. the back of the DVD someone, that I'm selling. Even when someone tells you their ethnicity, like if someone's like, I'm actually half Filipino, you have to go, Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go, All right, sure you are. And then also, if some, if you're just around somebody with a different ethnicity, you have to uh, go, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is so, someone who's like, I'm 10% Native American, you go, <laughs> All right. All right, sure. <laughs> Just if a black guy sits down. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's enough. It's enough with this. Um, that's a really fun one. It's a really, that fun, really fun one. That's a really fun one. That's a slippery slip. <sighs> Fuck, there was another one I had that I forgot, but I felt like that one was the headliner. Should we do it anyway? No. We uh, I think we're running, we're running against the line, so let's take a quick break. We'll do break. it next time. We'll save it. We're, you know we're going to play this game again. And if... If you listen to this podcast and you have ideas for this game, fucking send them in. Send them in. We love this game. And send us in people who are doomed. I love archetypes of people Mm. who are doomed. If you got some of those, send them our way. Actors are doomed. Poets are doomed. If you're doomed, call in. Call in. Call in. We want to interview a doomed person. Yeah. Oh, my God. As if we haven't. Yeah. As if we don't talk to doomed (laughs) people every day. Doomed. (laughs) (laughs) The sound of a doomed person. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. We'll be right back with Joe's respectful. Oh, were you going to say something? No. Let's do okay, it. Great. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with. Jo- oh man, I hate that. Yeah, it was the machine. <laughs> we'll, be we'll be right back. back. Doomed. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Doomed, gloomed, and hullabaloomed. <laughs> <laughs> that was so doomed. What I just said. Oh my god, I hate yeah, myself. Yeah, that was yeah. Doomed. Yeah. So sorry, everybody. All right, we're gonna do Joe's respectfully segment. What do you Let's got go. on the chopping Let's block? Go. You All get right. him, girl. So yeah. we were talking a little munch by proxy. Uh huh. <laughs> we were talking about a little munch munch, and this leads right into it. Yeah. If your dog. Ew. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> that also just reminded me of men who describe yeah. themselves as a munch. Yeah. What's a and munch? A, a guy. Who eats pussy? Yeah. And it's like, wait, shut do up. guys do describe themselves as a munch? Yeah, like, like, they don't like, have a term for it. They're like, like, how about TikTok just, just do it? Do it. They're yeah. on TikTok being like, I'm a munch. And it's oh. like, shut up. It's anyway. not a, it shouldn't be a subgroup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Also, it should only be something someone says about you. My guys are uh, a munch. Yeah, like if you're like, munch. if yeah. you're like talking about a guy you're dating, good you're like, reputation he's again. tall, yeah. he's funny, and he's a fucking munch. He's a munch. Yeah. Yeah. He's a munch and a munch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, okay. so <clears throat> munch by props. Here we are. Here we are. <clears throat> <clears throat> if your dog is mentally <laughs> ill, it's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> You're making it mentally ill. It's not the car that it got hit by before you owned it. It wasn't the old owner. Yeah. yeah. I don't care about the. If it's. First of all, your dog doesn't have complex PTSD. Yes, <laughs> yeah. dude. Yeah, dude. If you're you just have bipolar, bad at a dog. If, if you have an anxiety disorder, guess what? You're giving. You're probably giving it to the dog. A hundred percent. You're giving it to the dog. You are. You are Munchausen's by proxy. You're munching your dog. that dog. Yes, yes. You're munching the dog. <laughs> also, the stop dog. eating your dog's pussy. It's not a yeah, relationship that's why it's like bipolar. that. Also, yeah. guess what? No dog had a mental illness 20 years ago. Right. <laughs> if you're giving your dog Xanax, you're in trouble, buddy. Yeah. Those dogs are snorting it. In yes. It's yeah, crazy. dogs that worked on farms didn't have anxiety. No. And also, the dog is always small. The owner's always holding it. It's always shaking it's violently. Shaking. The owner's shaking it. Is everything okay? <laughs> <Yes>. Cookie? <laughs> Dude, and when these people's dogs shaking puppy syndrome, <laughs> yeah, 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 shaking puppy syndrome. When these people's Rattling dogs get sick, it is a nightmare. 
the GoFundMe, the, the unraveling that happens on social media. The Kickstarter. It's oh my so God. hard when you see a GoFundMe for a dog and you're like, I mean, put it down. And I love dogs, but there's like a level where you're like, you gotta snuff the life out of this yes. thing for the good of it. Have you ever, met, down. Have you ever met somebody's old dog? Yeah. That's like, first of all, it's covered in warts, so you don't even want to pet it. But yeah. old dogs get warts. And if it's your, I've had an old dog with warts. When it's your dog with your warts, you love the dog and you love the warts. Yeah. But when you go to someone's house and you don't even like the person <laughs> and their dog is covered in warts, it's, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's beyond reproach. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's disgusting. And it and starts like to snor- walk towards you all slow. And they do the thing where they're like shaking like they're humping, but yeah. it's because they have a neurological disability. And, and you're like, sorry, what is that? And like, that's Garfunkel. <laughs> yeah, we just flew him to Seattle to get yeah. his double bypass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He really put the funk in Garfunkel. <laughs> yeah. This dog stinks. Garfunkel, yeah. he just, he's going to smell a little bit like shrimp and right now. He's, yeah. got, he's got his double bypass. And the thing is, the dog is begging you to kill yeah, it. Oh, I know. When you it's look eyes. at the dog, it's all they, begging you. They all want to get put down. Shoot yes. me in the fucking it's head. Begging you to take its life, it like you can tell it knows that that's an option. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It just it wants it so. Don't bad. worry, Garfunkel. We're gonna do open heart surgery. <laughs> I'm and flying you like, to. Th- and the day Garfunkel's like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A dog was never meant to have open heart surgery. I mean, yeah. maybe like, sure, if you have the like means a, and it's like two years old, yeah. and you know that it'll baby. have a good quality of life afterwards. <laughs> but your 12 year old dog does not need open heart surgery. I know, right? right. And you see, there's a doctor you go, in Vancouver. He says he's gonna take care of you, Garfunkel. <laughs> Oh my god, another Shih Tzu just died. We can have its heart. Putting him yeah. on a plane. You it's rip, rattled you a rip out a Shih Tzu's heart. <laughs> <laughs> also, also we, these people who are like, he, the dog can't go in cargo. He has to be on my lap because he has oh a disorder. Dude, my and mom's like that with like her dog. Yes, and this is everywhere. such a mom thing. It's such a mom thing. You said no one could travel with a dog on a plane. No. You used to have to pack it on the tie to the fucking roof of the car and drive it across yes. the country. And you, yeah. when you see also, one, we've done dog hate two weeks ago. I know. I'm sorry, this is my fault. I mean, when you see one of those dogs too, you go, hey, buddy. Yeah, it's and the they're trying to get you thing. to like pet it, and you're like, Ugh. I know, and it smells. Oh, it smells so bad, dude. These ladies with the dogs on the plane now, like the like TSA will be like, "Ma'am, you can't have that dog. It's over fifty pounds." They're like, "You'll hear from my lawyer." Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. No, it's crazy. I have a letter. Yeah. I have a letter. I have a letter. <laughs> yeah, I have a letter. It's my saying... civil right. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> yes. it's every I white know. Woman crazy, right. crazy, crazy. And yeah. here's the thing: I can admit this. If I had a dog, I'd be that. Lady. Oh, you would oh, be yeah. that. One hundred percent. If I had a dog, it'd be my baby. And I would take it with me everywhere and I would never put it down because it'd be my special little guy. But when I see it happening, I'm like, I want to smother the dog with a pillow. Well, I'm yeah. s- when I see it happening, I'm scared because I know I'm one I'm one inch away from this. And I'm like, you can't right. let it take you. Also, have you ever had one of those people ask you to dog sit their dog and you're like, Man, it's gonna die, and you're gonna blame me. Yes, but like the they're like, will you dog sit the dog? It's really easy. You have to feed him twice pills. a day, unless he gets a seizure, and then you have to give him an epipen. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, the you're defibrillator's like, by the yeah. refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. You have to crush up the Sorry. pill. And you know the Heimlich maneuver, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So for a dog, it's it's a little bit different. Yeah. You use two he fingers. He does choke every time he eats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Also, you have to chew his food up and spit it in his mouth. Yeah, and you do. And it does it. taste like beefaroni. Yeah, <laughs> and that dog knows it's around you, and it's your doomed person. The dog senses it, and that's why yeah. it gets scared. He it does senses yeah. how he does fucked get up you are. Semen buildup. You will have to milk him. You'll <laughs> um, have to express his anal glands. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. other than that, he's pretty easy. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, and then you see these dog ladies on Instagram, and you're like, "How did it get to the? You know, like, what was the steps that led yeah. to this?" Also, you like, being this version of yourself. The GoFundMe for a 14-year-old dog when, like, children are dying is yeah. so crazy. It's the same as, like, a girl in college being, like, doing a GoFundMe to, like, go to Iceland for a semester. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. It's just something we don't get to have. Unfortunately, right. Garfunkel must die. If yes. you can't afford it, guess what? The world can't afford it. Either. Hello, yeah. darkness, my old friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Garfunkel's going in the fucking crematorium, and you're going to be better for it. You don't like. And you, so yeah, is he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not fair. It's like cruel. Yeah, you're keeping the dog alive because it's all. These are all people who like all their grandparents are alive. Yeah, and both of their parents. Yes, so they'll do anything to keep the dog alive because they've never suffered loss. Or right. there's people that suffered so much loss. Yeah, that yeah. this is all they, this have. Is all they have. Yeah, yeah which is oh scarier. yeah, people who like have like nobody in their life loves them. Yes, <laughs> they just need this little creature to stay alive. God, what a nightmare. Yeah, and I I want to we we didn't 
plan to get to this, but I'm wondering if we can squeeze close, her, squeeze, squeeze her, her in. in, squeeze her in, uh, squeeze her in, squeeze her in, because crazy dog loving ladies feel that them and I are on the same vibration. Yeah. Oh yeah. And they do something to me, and this is not just the, like crazy dog loving there, ladies. There's people do this to us that we've noticed. They right. go. We're the same, right? Yeah. When, and, a, when a person who's just doomed yes. tells you that you're the same. Oh, I have a great example of this. Yeah. I did a show recently where the comic after me went up and made a joke about me not being skinny. He said, like, he implied that I wasn't skinny. And the joke was funny and I liked it. Yeah. But the audience turned on him. And when they turned on him, he said, come on, we're both fat. Oh, right. This uh-huh. man was 350 pounds. <laughs> yeah, different category. We're not the same. We're not the same. And there's nothing wrong with being that size. I'm just saying, don't look at me and go, you know how we're both fat? He's crazy. I buy one ticket when I take an airplane. We're not the same. <laughs> we're not, we're the, not same. the same. I don't need the middle God, and the That was the probably aisle. the most fat phobic thing I've ever said, but fucking. Well, I'm deal afraid with of it. Them. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? It's a, it's a phobia, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but doomed people sometimes will be we're the same. They'll be like, I really have been loved watching your stand up act develop yes. over time. And I'm like, oh, you mean I've been doing this for so long yeah. that I feel like I'm a loser? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. But we're not the same. We're not the same. We're not we're the just same. not the same. We're and that's like, same. and because we're baddie ladies, some bitch will come up to us and be like, Psychic, my dog did his pet psychic. You get it. Right? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes. you're like, no, no I, don't. I don't. Put it down. Don't have two grand to throw it uh, fairy tales about my dog. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, that's it. Can that's the ticket? show. That's the show. Joe, where can Ooh. people find you, follow your sketches? Truly are. So fucking hilarious, and I'm not just saying that <laughs> Thank to you. put to to be smoke up your ass. Smoke up yes, your that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, to blow farts in yeah. your mic. No, but Joe is really funny. Stop it. Yeah, he's great. Joe, Joe Joe's is not very doomed. funny. He's not uh, doomed. La, la, he's going to be fine. Don't send me any ideas. Yeah. Don't send him any ideas. Don't just watch his ideas. sketches. Follow me on Instagram at nunagram. Mm-hmm. And... YouTube at Joe at no at Nunnick Comedy. Yep. N U N N I N K. N U N N I N K. There's far more ends in this guy's name than you'd ever imagine. One yeah. more than everyone thinks. There is. Yep. And no. we'll we'll yeah. we'll tag it all in the in tag the show notes. Up. Yeah. yeah. Um, follow me on Instagram at Lizzie Cassidy, Lizzie with a Y at the end. Listen to my other podcast, Close Calls, and also. I'll be I'll be in Springfield, Missouri. Yes, April twenty third to the 29th for Defore Fest. Yes, it's a comedy festival dedicated to and in the spirit of our friend Kenny DeForest, who died in December. So if you're in the Springfield, Missouri area, you should go to that. There's going to be a bunch of great shows. It's going to be a good time. And I think you can get tickets on DeForeFest.com or on the Blue Room is the comedy club. You can get it on their website. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So if you're in the greater Springfield area, buy a pass to the festival. Come to all the shows. It'll be a good time. And also, I'll be sad. Yeah. Andrea? <laughs> Couldn't have said it. That's kind of every day of my life. It'll be a good time. And I'll also be sad. Uh, follow me at Andrea Comedy 69 on all platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube page. Subscribe to our YouTube page, guys. So you can Hit see. Fucking smash that subscribe button. Smash, smash that like smash button. That little thing. Talk about doomed people. Yeah. Huh? God. And also follow my doomed podcast. <laughs> yes. Echo Chamber podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot about it. I, I was on that. Echo yeah. Chamber with Joe and Trent. Yeah. Um, and also, so the people, the ladies from TikTok have migrated over to YouTube and they're fighting for our lives in the YouTube comments Keep when that up. men call us pig, dumb, that, idiot, broads. And you bitches are the only thing keeping me from cutting myself. And yes. I need you to keep doing it. <laughs> and we're totally sane and totally normal. Goodbye. Bye. We did it. We did it. We did it.